guys, welcome back. This is Melanie from She Stitching, and I'm going to show you the next stitch from our Just Another Crochet Along. This is going to be the zigzag stitch. As you can see, it's really pretty cool. It's kind of like a 3D stitch. Um, it's not reversible, but the back does look okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this stitch. It's a lot of fun. So these stitches across the front are just made with treble stitches. So I'm going to teach you that. It might be a stitch that you're not familiar with, um, but it is a lot of fun. As you can see, it'll finish off nice. Um, and today I am using my Karen One Pound. This color is soft sage. It doesn't come out exactly like it does look in person, but it is a really pretty color. You can see it mix a little in with all my other ones there. Um, and this sample was in, um, let me see, it's, I think that's in the, the medium gray. This one's the medium gray, I think this is the light gray. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The pattern starts off with 31 chains, which I've already done, and then you're gonna um, single chain into the first, the second um, back bump from the hook and then de and single crochet all the way across so that you get a nice um, base row of 30 single crochet. And I just did that in order to keep um, the bottom of the pattern nice and strong. It does um, get a little bit confusing the first time you're, you're going across, so I wanted to put that single crochet row in the bottom instead of a, a chain row just to make it a little bit easier. Okay? And then what we're going to do is start off with um, our chainless standing double crochet. Um, this is um, my favorite new thing to do. You're going to pull that up to the same height as a double crochet, loop it around, hold the tension, put it through the base there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how you get the chainless starting double crochet. I've been doing this every week. Um, so I don't want to have to go ahead and teach that again, but if you want to learn how to do that, you can go ahead and visit the Moogly blog, and she has an amazing video on this stitch and why it works so well. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking my cat. There he goes, decided to jump up on the table. Okay, so let me go ahead and switch angles a little bit and um, show you how to do this stitch. Okay, so once you do that, chainless standing double crochet. The next stitch is going to be a treble crochet. So some of you might be unfamiliar with this. So what we're gonna do to start off this um, stitch is we're gonna yarn over twice. So before you start, you already have the three loops on there. And this pattern calls for us to skip the first three stitches. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do this treble, treble crochet into the fourth space. All right? So the, gonna go through, pull the yarn back through. So the treble crochet is basically a double crochet with an extra loop. So that means instead of pulling through twice, or I'm sorry, instead of pulling through three times, we're gonna pull through four times. And you're gonna pull through two, um, two loops every time. So I'm gonna um, pull a little bit extra slack on these just to make sure that the stitch doesn't um, end up too tight, okay? All right, so we've got the four on there, then we're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. So that's giving us the first nice triangle for our zigzag here. So we just completed that right there. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is into these three spaces behind, we're gonna do normal double crochets. So yarn over once, find that space in the back, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, okay? We're gonna do that three times into the back here. It's kind of hard to find. Okay. Pull through one. I'm just gonna push that treble stitch down with my thumb there so that we can see what's going on. All right, and then into this last space before the base of the treble, and another double crochet. So there we have our first little repetition of the zigzag done. What we're gonna do next is, for the rest of this row, we're gonna skip four spaces each time. So the only reason why um, it's not that way is because we have this border stitch over here. So we're gonna yarn over twice, 
one, two, three, four, and find that fifth stitch, and that's where we're gonna go. All right, so we yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay, so there's our treble, and then you can see the four skip spots on the bottom, so we're gonna go back and double crochet into those. So one, Three and four. Okay, straighten that out a little bit. And there you can see now we've got the two zags or zigs, whatever you want to call them. So let me do that with you one more time and then I'll have a skip ahead. Okay, so we skip those first four. One, two, three, four, go into the fifth. Okay, and we've already got the two yarn overs on our hook for our treble stitch. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our nice long treble stitch. We've got those four that we're gonna double crochet into. Okay, so one. Oops. Two. Three. And sometimes that last one hides. And four. Okay. All right. So there we've got three zags. Our pattern is going to have one, two, three. Uh, it'll have six zags, right? So go ahead and do that two more times. Um, so push pause here and go ahead and do that two more times. And then I'll join you up for the last one. Okay. So now we've got... Our first five zags and let me just go ahead and finish off this last one with you for this row two okay so we're gonna do a treble stitch again so we're gonna yarn over twice but because we're coming to the end of the row we're not gonna skip as many stitches so we're gonna go one two three and we're gonna go into the fourth stitch here and do our treble stitch so yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two okay and then we're gonna do our three double crochets here Two and three and then we're gonna do a double crochet into the last stitch from our row of 30 single crochets so let me go ahead and find that sorry it's always a little hard to join with those chain stitches all right and we'll do a double crochet here so there is the end of row two so you can see now we've got this is a, I'm working this with a bigger hook because when I did this with my um, my four, it didn't work out right. So it's a little bigger. That's what that's the difference in gauge for just a 0.5 difference. All right, so you can see we've got here we've got this bottom row of all the sixes. So what we're gonna do now is turn over and do the next row three. All right, so here we are now working on the back side of our work or the wrong side. We're gonna do that chainless standing double crochet. Um, if you're not comfortable doing this, you can just do a chain three or whatever you would normally do on the edges of your work. So let me go ahead and do this. Pull up to the height of a normal double crochet. Oops, I gotta make sure you hold that. Wrap around, pull through. Pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. Then we're gonna start our double crochet. Now as you can see on my sample here, these Treble, or sorry, we're gonna do a treble crochet next. So all of our treble crochets, they look like they're joining into each other and that's how we get that fun zigzag. So if we look on the back side of our work, this is the top of our treble crochet. So we're gonna skip three spaces and then treble crochet into that fourth space. So yarn over twice and then um, find that spot. So it's the fourth space. Yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay. Got a nice um, triangle there. And then we're going to do it, um, our double crochets this time are going to be in front of the triple crochet because this is the back, right? So we're going to go ahead. I'll just hold that back with my middle finger. So we're going to do three double crochets here. One, two, and three. 
And hopefully you've gotten a hold of that treble crochet now. So I won't slow down too much to show it anymore. All right, so you can see now we've got that first zigzag. It almost looks like it's a greater than stitch, right? Or <laughs> like the math greater than sign. All right, so let's go into our next one. So now that we're away from the edge in the body of the piece, we're gonna be skipping four each time so that we can get into that same as that treble crochet. So we're gonna yarn over twice, skip four, and go into the fifth. One, two, three, and four. You can hear my kids in the background, huh? All right, and then we're gonna do our four double crochet this time, and they're gonna go in front of the double crochet. So one. Okay, honey. Two. I see your car. Can we stop making noise though? Okay, honey, can you go play in the den? All right, sorry about that. That's a multitasking stay-at-home mom in action. All right, so we've got our four double crochet with the treble crochet on the back, and now we've got two of our zigzags. Okay, I'll do that with you one more time. So we do a treble crochet, we skip these four and go into the fifth. We do a, double, a treble crochet here. I like to pull these a little bit more than normal just to make sure that they're the right height. Okay, then we're gonna do four double crochets. Two, three, and four. Okay, so you can see what that looks like from the back, pretty boring, but when you flip that over, you start to see that we're getting those pretty zigzags. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that um, two more times, and I'll meet you for the last one. So you're going to repeat that, skipping four in between, and I will see you in just a minute. Go ahead and press pause. Okay, so now that we've got that done five times, we have five set of zigzags. I'm just going to do that last one with you to finish off our row three. So we're going to do a treble stitch, so yarn over twice, and then we're going to go into the fourth one. So we're going to skip these three and then go into the space that is the top of the treble crochet. One, two, three, oops, pulled a little bit too much, and four. Okay, and then we're gonna do our three double crochet. One, two, Three. And then we're gonna skip over that double that that that's where we put the double the, sorry the treble crochet. We're gonna go into the top of the chain listening double crochet in order to finish off the row with a nice and consistent variant. So we're gonna go into the top there. One. Okay, so now that we finished row three, let me go ahead and show that to you. Okay, so we've finished off row three. So we had row one was the um, single crochet. Row two was going behind the trebles and row three is going in front of the trebles. So then when you see it from the front here, um, we've got the zigzags all on the same side. It's starting to look good. And this will be the same size as all of our others. That's why I'm using the 4.5 hook. And from there to the rest of the pattern, you're just going to repeat rows two and three, so you already have everything you need to know. So starting off for row four, what you're going to do is just repeat row two, and then repeat row three, and go all the way up through 13. This square is really nice when you get to the top, so our 13th row is not going to be any different um, than row three. Um, because it's already nice and holds together, so you don't have to worry about that. And you will end up, hopefully, with 30 stitches, which will help us when we get to our border later. So you can see here our other um, 
um, swatches so far. We've got our Ocean Wave, oop, the Jacob's Ladder, that's upside down, our um, V-Stitch Waffle, and the Post Stitch. And um, the Cal isn't as strict as a lot of cows. You can do these in any order you want. Um, once again, I'm using the size four um, yarn and the hooks that I've had to use so far are the 4.25, the 4.5, the five, and the five. So I've got those four hooks that I've had to um, switch in between to maintain the gauge. You can see like the, the Jacob's Ladder is a really tight stitch um, compared to, to this one, which is looser. I think the Ocean Waves was our loose, loosest of all. Um, and then we'll be joining them together in the end. And that's why we're gonna be putting the border on with the 32 single, or with the 30 single crochets, and then you put two in the corner. And you count one from each corner, so you get 32 single crochets on each side. Okay. So go ahead and um, subscribe to me if you would like to get alerts when we get our videos. Also, you might have noticed my fun new bracelet that I'm wearing. I made this out of a size 10 um, crochet thread. And once I get to 250 subscribers, I'm gonna share the pattern for this. So that's just a little incentive to subscribe. It's also great to subscribe because you'll know right away when one of our new crochet long scores comes out. And I will start sharing some other patterns and crochet tips as we go. Um, I also have a TikTok a Tumblr and a Reddit account, um, and it's from She Stitching. I started an Instagram also. The TikTok and the Instagram are really fun. TikTok is kind of a humorous platform, so you'll see my funny side. And on my Instagram and my TikTok, I'm also kind of showing you as I'm working along, so you will get some previews of the stitch before I release the main tutorial videos. Um, I hope you enjoy everything. I hope you can subscribe and give my video a like. And I will see you next week. If anybody asks where I am in the meantime, just tell them she's stitching.